yeah. um, talking about some of the protecting the, the sound and mm -hmm. some of the environmental stuff. And then Thursday at the Rochester for lunch, you're gonna go to a place where you're gonna order something called the garbage plate. I just want you to be prepared for it. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Binging with Babish, where this week I went home for the holidays, and now I am tumescent with hometown pride. So I am perfectly okay with the mere mention of garbage plates in the place beyond the pines being reason enough to put to use these Zweigel's hot dogs from my hometown of Rochester, New York, the official dish of which is the enticingly named garbage plate. Also, before we get started, I want to apologize for the strange sort of hair patterns, but I got some fresh ink. I would say T-minus two weeks until everything is back to normal. In the meantime, let's get started on our garbage plate. First up, we're going to address the mysterious meat sauce, which, according to the legend of Nick Tahoe's, is made from the scrapings of burgers smashed down on the griddle. So we're going to start by introducing some ground beef to a very hot pan, make sure it's a little bit evenly distributed, and let it sit for a solid five minutes until some brown, crispy stuff forms. Give it a stir, let it sit for another five minutes, and keep scraping, leaving it alone, and scraping again until you get a whole bunch of crispy little brown bits. Then we're going to add a few ounces of tomato paste, stir that around, let it caramelize a bit, before adding a quarter teaspoon ground cloves, a quarter teaspoon cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon allspice, a quarter teaspoon cayenne pepper, a quarter teaspoon ground cumin, a quarter teaspoon paprika, and a quarter teaspoon garlic powder. Stir around over medium heat until those flavors have had a chance to get to know each other, and then add back our sauteed onions from earlier. We don't want anything burning, so no more than 30 seconds per step here, and then we're going to deglaze with anywhere from half a cup to a full cup of water, depending on how much meat and veg you have in the pot. Scrape up all that beautiful stuff off the bottom, season with salt and pepper, and set aside. That's our meat sauce out of the way, so now it's time to address crispy diner-style home fries, something I've always had a lot of trouble with. So we're dicing three peeled russet potatoes, covering with cold water, adding a few tablespoons of white vinegar, a few big pinches of kosher salt, bringing to a boil for five minutes, and then spread out on a paper towel-lined baking sheet, letting cool until most of the steam subsides. Then, in a large cast iron skillet, we're going to preheat a tablespoon each vegetable oil and butter, adding the potatoes in batches and letting sit for a solid four minutes until a golden crust forms on one side of the potatoes. Let sit for a few more minutes, flip again, and repeat until the potatoes are golden and crispy brown all over. Drain on paper towels if desired. Make sure that you're cooking in batches so the potatoes don't get too crowded. While they're still warm, it's time to season with kosher salt, a healthy sprinkle of paprika if desired, some freshly ground pepper, and toss to combine. Now you can't improve upon perfection, but in the case of garbage plates, perfection often relies upon god-awful store-bought macaroni salad, a concoction that offends all five of the senses, so we can do a whole hell of a lot better. I've got some cooked and rinsed arachiette, to which I'm going to add some carrots, celery, green onion, parsley, and pepidou peppers. I like arachiette for pasta salad because it's got all these little nooks that hang on to all these delicious toppings. We're going to season this with half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a good pinch of kosher salt, and some freshly ground pepper before tossing together to let those flavors get to know each other, and then we're going to add the requisite mayonnaise, but not just mayonnaise, we're also going to add some sour cream for a bit of funky tang, not to mention a solid tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Now I could just tell you that this could kick the shit out of any deli style macaroni salad, but I'd rather show you. So I am orchestrating an elaborate taste test with my roommate Rashid a blindfolded taste test. Because to Rashid and I, both Rochester natives, garbage plates are serious business. Let's start with the homemade pasta salad. And even though I spilled a little bit on him, it was very well received. Now let's try the deli-bought pasta salad. Mm -hmm. Oh! Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Here, some of the good stuff for you. Come get, on, get, get give that, me that, that good Get stick. that flavor out of your mouth. There you go. There you go. All right, so with a clear winner picked, it's time to plate up. A 50-50 distribution of home fries and macaroni salad. And you can top this with cheeseburgers or plain old hot dogs, but I like white hots. These are not widely available, so if you're unable to procure them, look for a Weisswurst or other pork and veal-based sausage. Just make sure you split and griddle them thoroughly before placing them on your mountain of carbs. Top with our spiced meat sauce that we've been keeping warm in the background in the saucepan. And then optionally, you can slather with both 
ketchup and yellow mustard. Don't go for any of the fancy stuff. And make sure to only serve on a thick paper plate. Real stoneware only serves to cheapen the experience. And if you find yourself hitting a wall towards the end of consumption, go ahead and crack yourself open a Jenny Cream. You can find them wherever fine Jenny Cream ales are sold. <laughs> you want me to do what? I mean, sir, the tool, the tool man Taylor. <laughs> oh. It's tool time. No, he didn't say he never said it like that. It's tool time. <laughs> tool time, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I recall. Batman. It's tool time! It's tool time, Batman. <laughs> the whole world like those tools. Oh. It's tool time, Batman. <laughs> I don't think so, Tim.